This is Rod Goosen and Spooman for RISC on August 23rd. All times on the chart are sent for standard time. What direction is the market going? Well, as you can see, it's kind of going down. But in any event, you've got a perfect opportunity for a short here. And the premium is very convincing regarding this drop back to 2185.50 and probably further. But in any case, the overall pattern, as you can see, has been down. And this retracement really is, is a great opportunity to get in. You can see how the, uh, the premium here, well, let's kind of go back to this point, all right? Now, that particular high associated with this high pivot, all right, indicates that the market could quite likely retrace right back up there to 88 and a quarter. Now, when it does, we will have to uh, once again take a look at where the premium is at that moment. But this huge drop in the premium here really is a convincing reason to anticipate the drop back to uh, that price and, of course, uh, furthering the downtrend in the market. So those of you who know how to read the premium can look forward to a, a nice opportunity to short this little move back up. And if we don't, if we can get a fill at eight, 88 and a quarter or even 88, you know, dropping it back to 85, uh, 50. You know, that's a nice two and a half point drop. Nice, easy two and a half points. And that's what we would be looking for. I think we could probably short it at 88 as well. Uh, but what really is important is once we get up there, we've got to look at the premium look carefully at whether the premium suggests that this is going to go for, uh, going to go up any further than that. Now, I don't believe that it will, but that just remains to be seen. So we've got to give that an opportunity to move up and then look at where the premium is at that moment. So we're only a couple of ticks away. Okay, so you see what the premium did right here. We did reach that uh, that particular price. So, based on where the premium is at the moment, I think we're going to go back up and we'll, we'll test that uh, a little bit further. Now that uh, happens to be the VWAP 8850. So we'll just have to see that. But look for this. We, we can really look, look to be shorting that. We go up there and test that a little, little, uh, little further. Uh, look to short this and see this thing come right back down. Now that may take a while, so we'll come back after a while and review where we stand. The market has moved uh, very, very slowly uh, from our initial uh, high that occurred uh, shortly after uh, about 12.15. But uh, just a couple of points of interest that from the major pivot point, notice how long the market has gone before any major move took place. From this first high that we had, uh, at 948 
almost an hour to the minute later, it made its next move down. And then another hour to the minute, another move down. And then it starts to take a little longer, okay, a few minutes beyond that for this next move down. And now it's, now it's uh, become less consistent. But uh, from, from this, and let's put the times up here. Hang on, let me get the times up. Okay, so from 12.52 to 13.28, all right? A little more than a half an hour. And then from 13.28 to 14.14, again, we're almost back to a full hour. Um, and now we get our final move down. Here we, here we go, here we go. We're gonna hit that uh, 85.50 uh, level. And uh, given where the premium is at the moment, uh, there it is, 85.50. Uh, we, we should see this move down maybe just a little bit more, a little bit more. Finally, <laughs> finally it gets down to where the premium said it would. And our thresholds, uh, I've not uh, had time to really uh, uh, check on the uh, accuracy of these thresholds. So whatever is on the screen, don't hold me to that. But we've uh, moved down to 85.50. We didn't drop any lower than that. And now we're getting a bit of a bounce. But let's, uh, let's take this opportunity to go ahead and and look at our thresholds and see what we can uh, make of this. So bear with me for a minute. All right, we have a threshold at negative 214, and uh, I'm going with that. I, I like that threshold. It's it looks a little bit high to me, but my goodness, the, you know, the market has just been been moving so slowly uh, today it's 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 a little hard to come up with a better number now if I was at all inclined to change it I would change it to this low but then it's at negative 224 and even if that was the case when we came back down to test this level just moments ago We were at negative 237, and then um, negative 223, so just above that level. So we might be uh, we might be seeing a pivot here. I think there's a good chance of this uh, pivoting at this point. And we start to move back up. Now the upper threshold I'm just analyzing what we've got on the screen here. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, entirely possible that we're going to rally back up to that 8850 level. Uh, so we move down from there and, and uh, corresponding move back up uh, it is entirely possible. Pattern-wise, we're just about done with this pattern. I mean, the, the, the high of the day was uh, uh, after 9 o'clock uh, in the first... Well, let's just take you right back there and, and we'll just show you what I mean. Here's, here's our high. If you don't know patterns, uh, take our course. It's well worth knowing this. Now, this is your high pivot. Okay, let's get the time associated with that. So this is, uh, you know, go a little after uh, 9.15. Market has been moving down. And this pattern we call a green day down, wherein the low of the day is going to be in the afternoon 
and before the last half hour of the market. Well, here we are. All right, you've got enough. You're, you know, well, you're even beyond that, just a little bit. The, the pattern would suggest, and this is a pattern alone, that the low of the day should be in the last, uh, before the last half hour. It's gone beyond that. So it's a little beyond what we would expect the pattern to have done. But this pattern, from the standpoint of the timing, is done with. The pattern is done with. If the market continues to drop, then I don't think it will, but if it does, the pattern has just been uh, uh, extended further than we would normally expect it to. But we normally would expect this pattern to be over with. It's hit the low of the afternoon and no reason to expect it to go much lower, although it could. And according to the premium, it's probably going to drop. Uh, but this last, uh, these last bars here, just to be sure. Yeah, that was at negative 223 above that other threshold that we talked about. Um, but nevertheless, below the 214, which would suggest it would continue to drop. So we'll have to see about that. But uh, pattern wise, the probability that the market will continue to drop is, is now on a declining scale. So if you're holding a short trade, uh, the likelihood that you're going to make much more out of this based upon pattern is diminishing. It's diminishing. We don't say that it won't happen, but it certainly has a probability issue. It is diminishing. So. Uh, that's all the time we have for this video. I know it was a short one. It took a long time for this to develop, but it did what we expected it to, and that's the important thing. If you don't know how to read the premium, well, there's no better investment in your time than to learn how to do this. And it may take a while for some of you. But once you know how to do it, uh, there's not a better indicator out there. It is the most accurate piece of data that you can find. And there's very few places that will teach you how to read it. I'm Rod Kusin and Spoonman for Risk.